Welcome to the world of surrealism. The word surrealism is made up by the poet named Guillaume Apollinaire in 1917. At the first time, he actually thought about the term of surnaturalism. However, since the concern of misunderstanding to the philosophical word, he changed the name to surrealism. Then what is surrealism and where it came from? We can find the origin of surrealism from Dadaism. Dadaism was developed at the period of World War I, and the characteristic which destroying the early tradition, discipline, and moral was been welcome at that gloomy time. These characteristics finally transferred to surrealism of the days to come. The earliest surrealism was appeared as the new technique of drawing such as collage, frottage, decalcomanie, and rayonism, and it leads surrealism to be awakened to the world of unconsciousness. Those are some artists of surrealism era. Salvador Dali was a prominent Spanish surrealist painter, born on May 11, 1904 in Figures, Catalonia, Spain. His best-known work, The Persistence of Memory, was completed in August 1931. This work introduced a surrealistic image of soft, melting poxit watches and supported by the wide expanding landscape and other limp watches shown being devoured by ants. Lobsters and telephones had strong sexual connotations for Dali. The telephone appears in certain paintings of the late 1930s such as Mountain Lake, and the lobster appears in drawings and designs, usually associated with erotic pleasure and pain. In Lobster Telephone, the crustacean's tail, where its sexual parts are located, is placed directly over the mouthpiece. Salvador Dalla produced the Mae West Lip Sofa, one of the 20th century's most sensuous and iconic pieces of furniture. The Lip Sofa relates to Dali's paintings and drawings that were inspired by the Hollywood actress, Mae West. In the morning of January 23, 1989, while his favorite record of Tristan and Isolde played, Dolly died of heart failure at Figures at the age of 84. Giorgio de Carico He was an Italian artist born at Bolos, Greece in 1888. He died at the age of 90 in Rome. This is one of his famous artworks, The Disquieting Muses. The spaces in this painting are dominated and interpenetrated fantastically such as the box in the foreground is seen through the sitting muse's perspective. Leonora Carrington, she was an English-born Mexican artist, born in 1917 in England and died at the age of 94. One of her most famous arts is the giantess. A moon-faced female giant in the painting is hermetic and complex. This painting is also known as the guardian of the egg. She was inspired by the great natural and mythological worlds, and underworlds, Mexico has to offer, or evoke her own Celtic roots. René Magritte, he was the leader in the Surrealism style and was born in 1898, in Belgium. He died at the age of 68 in Belgium. This is his last artwork. The Art of Living. There is an enormous orange fruit floating above the decapitated body, and the orange is the head. It is an unremarkable image which strikes us by being so very unremarkable. Now let's move on to the characteristics. First, combine two or more different materials, with logically no connection in between, to transmit specific emotion. Second, mostly using oil color as the painting equipment. Third, surrealists use symbols as a method of telling a story. Among surrealism effect nowadays art, we can count the most biggest one as the legacy of Abji. In surrealism, there are some symbolic natural object or daily object which are not seem to related with the art, but those being used as differ from original usage. That is what we call Abji. Abje is everywhere, and there are also surrealism photographers such as Eric Johansson and the inventions based on creative ideas also can be the examples of an object of nowadays. So, after watching the video you guys now know that, 
the surrealist movement produced a virtual feast for the eyes. The vivid colors and the strong visualizations of objects give the paintings a real eye-catching element. While the strange and sometimes disturbing malformations of people and creatures often give the viewer more to think about and a reason to look twice at the paintings. Thank you for watching our video.